The Untold Story of Eritrean History. Discover the untold story of Eritrea's rich history, spanning from ancient civilizations to modern times. This nation's past is filled with remarkable events and cultures that have shaped its unique identity. Join us as we delve into Eritrea's fascinating journey. Eritrea, nestled in the Horn of Africa, boasts a strategic location along the Red Sea. Its diverse cultural heritage and historical significance have made it a melting pot of influences, blending African, Middle Eastern, and European elements into its vibrant tapestry. Early human settlements in Eritrea date back thousands of years, with archaeological finds revealing a bustling prehistoric life. These ancient communities laid the foundations for the region's development, showcasing advanced skills in agriculture, pottery, and trade long before written history. The ancient kingdom of Dumt emerged around the 8th century BCE, playing a pivotal role in Eritrea's history. This early civilization was known for its impressive architectural feats and thriving trade networks, which connected it to neighboring regions and beyond. The Aksumite Empire rose to prominence in the 1st century CE, leaving a lasting impact on Eritrea. Renowned for its monumental obelisks and vibrant trade routes, Aksum was a center of culture and power, influencing the region for centuries. During the medieval period, Eritrea was a melting pot of cultures and religions, interacting with neighboring regions through trade and migration. This era saw the rise of local kingdoms and the spread of Christianity and Islam, shaping Eritrea's diverse cultural fabric. The Ottoman Empire left a significant mark on Eritrea, establishing coastal outposts in the 16th century. Ottoman influence introduced new architectural styles and administrative structures, which integrated Eritrea into broader Red Sea trade networks and geopolitical dynamics. Italian colonization began in the late 19th century, with Italy establishing Eritrea as its first colony in 1890. This period saw the introduction of modern infrastructure and urban planning, but also exploitation and resistance from the local population. World War II dramatically changed Eritrea's political landscape, leading to the defeat of Italian forces by British troops. The British administration took control, bringing temporary stability and initiating reforms, while the future status of Eritrea remained uncertain amid global post-war negotiations. Under British administration, Eritrea experienced economic development and social change, but tensions grew over its future. Debates and international pressure culminated in a controversial UN resolution, leading to Eritrea's federation with Ethiopia in 1952, setting the stage for further conflict. Eritrea's federation with Ethiopia in 1952 was marked by political tension and unrest. Many Eritreans felt marginalized as Ethiopia sought to assimilate the region, leading to growing discontent and resistance against the Ethiopian government's policies and actions. The armed struggle for Eritrean independence began in the early 1960s. Guerrilla warfare tactics were employed by various groups determined to end Ethiopian rule. Over time, these movements gained support and momentum, becoming a formidable force. Key figures in the fight for Eritrean independence, such as Hamid Idris Awade and Isaias Afriki, emerged as leaders who inspired and organized the resistance. Their leadership was instrumental in uniting disparate groups under a common cause. Significant battles like the Battle of Aphabet demonstrated the determination and resilience of the Eritrean fighters. These battles were crucial in weakening Ethiopian control and boosting the morale of the independence movement, bringing them closer to their goal. The Eritrean People's Liberation Front, EPLF, played a pivotal role in the struggle for independence. Through strategic planning, effective organization, and popular support, the EPLF managed to liberate Eritrean territories and ultimately achieve victory in 1991. Eritrea declared its independence in 1991 after a lengthy and grueling struggle. The newfound freedom marked the end of decades of conflict and oppression. It was a moment of immense pride and joy for Eritreans, symbolizing resilience and determination. Post-independence, Eritrea faced significant challenges, including rebuilding its war-torn infrastructure and establishing a stable government. The nation embarked on ambitious development programs, but political unrest and regional tensions often hindered progress. Despite the hurdles, Eritrea remained committed to forging a new path. The Eritrean-Ethiopian War from 1998 to 2000 was a major setback. 
the conflict resulted in significant casualties and economic hardship. The Algiers Agreement eventually brought peace, but the border dispute lingered, affecting the nation's stability and international relations. Eritrea has pursued various initiatives to boost its economy, focusing on agriculture, mining, and infrastructure development. The government has also emphasized self-reliance and sustainable development. Despite economic challenges, these efforts signify a determined stride towards nation-building and growth. Eritrea's rich cultural heritage is a cornerstone of its national identity. The preservation of traditional practices, languages, and historical sites is prioritized. Festivals, music, and dance play a crucial role in uniting communities and celebrating the diverse cultural tapestry of Eritrea. Eritrea today is a nation marked by resilience and determination. Despite numerous challenges, including political restrictions and economic sanctions, the country strives to maintain its sovereignty and promote national unity. Its people are dedicated to preserving their hard-won independence. Eritrea's social fabric is woven with diverse cultures and traditions, reflecting its rich historical heritage. Festivals, music, and traditional dances play a vital role in community life, fostering a strong sense of identity and belonging among Eritreans at home and abroad. Economically, Eritrea focuses on self-reliance, investing in agriculture, mining, and infrastructure projects. The government aims to reduce dependency on foreign aid by harnessing the country's natural resources and encouraging sustainable development to improve living standards and achieve long-term growth. The international community's perspective on Eritrea varies, with some countries emphasizing human rights concerns while others engage in diplomatic and economic partnerships. Eritrea continues to navigate global relations, seeking to balance its national interests with the demands and expectations of the global arena.